30 minute game So he's coming target in here, might as well just push, push this pawn so that he doesn't come with this um, cheap stuff. And let's develop the bishop. It's obviously coming down for the bishop, so we'll just push here for now. Open up the dark square bishop so we can go and castle. Oh, he's sneaking in. So he's lost a bit of a tempo because we're going here anyway with the bishop. And let's castle. Let's attack the bishop now. Okay, so it's moved the bishop back. It's blocking the rook. So again, lost a bit more tempo. How do we take advantage? Let's just attack this pawn. And let's take with the bishop. Bishop or the knight? Has the knight got a better position for attacking anything? Could come across and attack this pawn could come across here and attack the knight let's attack with the knight it's, take, it's coming for our bishop now is there potential no not really is there potential no not really come back yeah open up the rook yeah so now we've got sites of potentially attacking this pawn and he's losing a bit more tempo moving his knight back he's got this dangerous bishop here let's attack the bishop for now See if we can make some space and inroads towards this pawn. So he's dancing with his knight again. Let's attack this knight. Open up the rook so we can maybe put some pressure onto this pawn here. And he's dancing again. I think he's blocking this um, area so we can't attack this um, pawn. Okay, that's very clever. So we could move a queen across, attacking the pawn here, giving them something to think about. Or we could just bring the rook here and attacking. I'm actually going to bring the queen across, give them something to think about. So they'll have to readjust. So we're changing our plan at this moment in time. Our focus was there, but he's gone for a blocker. So he's having to do stuff he doesn't want to do. So bring the rook here now, putting pressure onto this pawn. Maybe doubling up with the rooks because this is like the half open file. Sounds like some, some sort of plan. Okay, so he's attacking the knight. Our knight can replicate and protect, but he's also protecting the pawn here. So he's um he's got some smarts about him. There's a there is a gap here for our queen to squeeze through if we can, but I think he's gonna go and castle anyway. So we'll bring the queen here anyway. So the changing of the attack process, looking at what the opponent's blocking off then being able to change, chop and change, to attack weak areas, keep the pressure on, keep the opponent thinking. Knight's got a nice space here attacking the queen, or we can put a check on the king to stop him from castling, and then the knight comes and blocks here. Which one do we want to do? If we go there with the knight, queen drops down, knight can attack the rook, rook then attacks the bear. I'm going to put a check on the king. So his queen's probably going to go and exchange, maybe not, maybe the knight might come and block, but um, if the queen comes there, the knight takes, so I think either he moves, Ooh, okay. So, can take with the knight, and then obviously his queen takes back, queen takes back. Do, 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 still have this pawn here. Um, we could look to double up, or are we being too fancy? Simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically works for me okay so he's got this white square bishop now we still have this pressure on this pawn we could move the knight looking to double our pawns up but at the same time attacking this pawn so let's go here his king is a bit airy okay right so could look to double up on this pawn i think they'll probably do this so that it takes away the sting and hasn't done that so we'll go here but he's bringing his rook here <laughs> No, he's gone for okay so we could push onto the pawn he doesn't have to take he's attacking our pawn let's grab this pawn he's also supporting it with this and now let's go for the king he goes for the pawn we go for the king 
king's hiding in the center okay right so now if that king is hiding in the center just give this a push looking to get up to here up to here gets him more into the center this pawn's kind of hanging so his rooks come down anyway right okay so i'm gonna go nice and steady with this one first so he's not supporting this pawn now with his rook. So he's given up the pawn. If we go and take with this rook, we'll go with this rook first. So he's gone on the defensive, but released um, protection for his pieces as far as I can see so far. And his rooks are not really working together at the moment. I suppose he could swing across here but then he's still not doubly attacking anything. So he might be wanting to be an active king or something. I don't know. I can't see what he's doing at the moment. So I'm going to take the pawn. Now our rooks are linked up. So we could actually oops, attack his rook. Attack his rook. If he doesn't take, then we can slide in here. He does take, capture. So now his rook is having to babysit this pawn, so his king is probably going to come over and try and defend, coming here. I am trying to get my king up to here, but I don't think I'm going to be fast enough he's going to get his king there. But then if he gets his king there, he's blocking this pawn from attacking the rook, so we could go here and block off. So he's doing similar type stuff. Let's... Uh get the king up see if we can that's the key square I think I don't think he's going to relinquish the pawn so if he's going up and down with the rook then okay so we can go here I'm thinking that is the one but because he's done that pawn move what do we do could push up but then it's blocking my king he's gonna come here across here and then I can't do the the move um, push let's just push here he's offered a draw okay um, so we could take with the king but then his rook just comes down and attacks let's go here is it coming here then we take the pawn so he's going up and down with his rook if we go here though his king goes to this side and then gets our pawn ah man this is not good do we have a tempo with the rook rook up and then attack the king but then he just drops the pawn maybe it is a draw <laughs> um up with the king drops with the pawn mm. up with the pawn up with the pawn I don't think the king is gonna get there well it's not gonna get here because he's just gonna drop there so he's going up and down with the rook like we said so if we go here then his pawn drops We move our rook across just to get a tempo his rook moves back up again up oh, pawn drops i have to come back down then he's got space around his king up oh. Pawn down or this pawn, whichever one pawn. It's probably going to be this one actually, so he doesn't want the rook facing. Yes. Okay. Drop down. Still wants that space there. Hope I'm not giving this game away. This king's got this magical square, hasn't he? See, I've give. I think I've given it to him, but he can no longer come and get out. Ooh. 
we go up he drops down go up Maybe he thinks he's coming around for our king, maybe. So we're looking at doing this, but I don't know how much weight that's got to it. It just feels like I'm in a better position. So he's not preempted that. Let's just go with that. move to the side so now he's gonna maybe try and champion this bit um, move the king across move the king across this rook can't come there can it so let's go here Let's go there. So he's going to come down and round the back. Try and get these pawns. He might win the tempo, you know. If he comes down. We. Ooh, okay. So he's actually going for the capture. Going to take. Alright. Let's just attack the king. While we're thinking. He's got space to come and attack our king as well. Okay, so we can come here for the pawn. Let's go for the pawn. This rook comes down, we take the pawn. Uh, ooh, let's put a check on. Um, I don't know, let me see. So if we take this pawn, and then he takes, and then we take with the king, he drops down with his king and then we make our way all the way over so this is a count thing isn't it one two oops two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten We take, he takes, we take. He doesn't have to take though, he might come down and just put a check on our king or something. Yeah, let's have a look at that. And he's offered a draw. So we take, then he drops down and puts a check on our king. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably what he's going to do, isn't it? Mm, take. Oh, he does take. Right, so it's this count thing now. Okay, so his king is stuck there, so he's gonna. He can't come here. Yeah, he, I let's do ours first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Definitely ten. Okay. So he has to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we would get queened before him. Hold on, I think I'd missed out a king queen king move, didn't I? So he has to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, yeah, okay. We queen before him. Let's go. Done the count. Let's go. Okay, so this is the magic of capturing here. 
So it wasn't a draw after all. Unless of course I mess it up, he's still continuing. So the magic of counting worked for us. Wow. Oh, I really like that. Let's go here. Whoopie do counting in the end fantastic brilliant so that was a lovely end game just have a look at the analysis though just to see okay so see if there's any as we know major dips in the game per se and um, we did say that the opponent did some moves like kind of losing tempo in the early part of the game. I think the evaluation bars are green with us at this moment. So they attacked and we opened up the rook. We started targeting this area here. Whoa, and yeah, they did like a retreat move with the knight. Um, I don't think we took advantage of that though, because that's like saying it's like really out and out winning. What was the magic move? Hmm. Okay, so we brought the bishop attacking the bishop, which made sense to us. And then we attacked the knight. And then moved the knight again. So they're doing a lot of um, avoidance moves and um, shifting around. So it kind of lost them tempo in developing the pieces, I think, as far as I could see. Which was good. Um, I wanted to work with that philosophy. So I tried to understand the makeup of the player. Doesn't like this queen move with this draw thing. What was the winning thing? Was it the knight? Because we were umming and arrowing, weren't we? Knight's better. Mm, it dropped still, but... What was the better one then? Oh well, okay. Went with that. So then we look to squish the king, stop it from casting a little bit, then we captured. Doesn't like that either, damn. Is it saying take with the queen then or something? Doesn't even like that. I bet there's something I'm totally missing here, obviously. What is it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's not that. Oh my god, it's that. How weird is that? It was the the main pawn that we targeted right at the beginning of the game. How does that make sense? Because if the king takes... Uh, ooh, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Wow. Should have stayed focused on there. That's a bit scary. Okay, so then we, he's got a double check basically on there. So he has to move his king, so if he moves his king, knight can take, ooh, sha, damn, wow, that's nice, that's nice, didn't see that, should have stayed focused on the main target area that we started right at the very beginning, interesting time, okay, so we came through and lost a bit of advantage there, but it didn't feel like we lost a bit of advantage, I felt the position on the board looked okay for us. So grabbed, grabbed. So now we've got the, and it's saying plus 3.5. So maybe we should be a bit more careful going forward. Although, again, it still felt okay for us. Jostling, 
I suppose if the, the opponent played the correct moves, then obviously I would be in trouble, but it did seem okay. We were able to play chess. Yep. And captured, captured. So it's like draw ish at the moment. So the opponent was right in offering a draw at this stage. And it's still a draw. And it's plus 1.6 now from that situation. Because we really couldn't get our king across here. So how did it change? It's plus 2 point, it's plus 3 now. Move the king down. And we're looking to push the pawn up. And it, plus 3.4. So we're absolutely losing. So the, because the opponent's just moving the rook up and down, it's now drawn. So now we put pressure onto the king. And it's still plus 0.03. Point three, sorry. We'll bring our rook through now, looking to get some space. Put a check on it's still showing as a draw. And we're looking to put pressure, it's my oh no, draw still. Captured. And the opponent shouldn't have captured because I like I said, I think if they'd have gone here, then they're putting checks on me all the time, aren't they? And where where does my king go? You know, it's um I'm down. I suppose you can't put any more checks there. It's still a drawish position. It's a bit harder for me to, if I move across, or well, I've moved already, Anta, so it's his go. Um, his king could maybe attack my rook. Could attack the rook again. And maybe he wants to come round the back and try and get some of these pawns. Nah, I don't think that works for them because that was a minus. So, yeah, I think we put the pressure on and I think the opponent kind of capitulated or did account themselves and thought maybe they were going to um, win out. But we did the account before we did this and made sure that we were going to get a uh, queen first. So counting in chess is a key, key thing, doing your calculation, especially towards the end game. But I did like that game, even though it was up and down and all over the place. Those are the games and play, you know, it's, it's a true game. Um, and kudos to the player as well uh, for playing true, for playing real. And yeah, big respect for that.